everyone and welcome to my channel thank you so much for subscribing and commenting on my videos and um thank you for bearing with me i know it's actually been a long time since i posted um probably about three months since i've posted actually uh i just didn't really know what to post after i wasn't losing weight anymore myself I got to the weight I wanted to be, I was quite happy and I didn't really know what else to kind of say but um, I'm going to do a video today and I'm going to do the video on all of the products so I'm going to show you all of the products and how to make them up and so if you're new to the one to one diet um, then it'll give you a better idea of what they all are when you go to see your own consultant. Um, hope you're all well, hope you're all staying safe, um, it's been an absolutely crazy time, I've still been working but um, I've just been doing drop-offs or collections with clients. I've, unfortunately, I've not actually seen any clients now in a couple of months. So I'm missing everyone and I can't wait to get back to normal. But for now, uh, we'll, we'll do this. So we'll get started. I will start with the shakes. Now, I get quite a lot of people saying that they're not a big fan of shakes, they don't like shakes, um, but these are, if you do like a shake, they're, they're delicious, I think they're really nice. Um, first one is, we've got chocolate mint. Now, you make all the shakes up the same way, you add water to them all. You can do them in either a shaker, a blender, a Nutribullet. I used to use a Blend Active when I done them, um, just with loads of ice. The instructions are on the back for every single product and um, so there's instructions on the back of every product that needs made up so the first one is chocolate mint and then we have chocolate banana chocolate caramel biscuit this is the newest one it's actually delicious um it's 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 really it's, it's really a kind of a yummy taste to it it's like a biscuity caramelly milkshake cappuccino now the cappuccino some people um would have this hot with hot water which is absolutely fine the chocolate as well you can have that one with hot chocolate like a hot chocolate and the other one that's really nice hot is the chocolate mint like a mint hot chocolate i think the chocolate one's got a bit of a kind of nutella taste to it which um i'm not a huge nutella fan but um the but people that love Nutella have came back and says, oh, they think it's got a bit of a taste to it. It's lovely though. Um, it's cappuccino. Then we've got Fruits of the Forest. Uh, this one's actually been discontinued very soon, so I don't even know if you'll get this. I've still got a couple of boxes left of it, so my clients will still be getting this, but whether your own consultant has it or not is not is up to them. We've got a vanilla, which again, some people have hot with a spoonful of coffee and make it a kind of latte type thing. That's very popular. And the strawberry, which is probably one of my favourite shakes. And I think it tastes exactly like a strawberry milkshake from McDonald's. Delicious. Shakes are all great. As I say, on the back of them, it says make with 227 millilitres of water. Now, that's completely up to yourself. Um, some people like more water. That makes a really thick shake. So if you put um, ice in and things, you can put that in on top. As the, with the shakes and things like that, they're really trial and error. It's completely up to your own taste. Um, as long as you're not leaving them for a long time to drink them, it says drink within 15 minutes. So as long as you're not making them in the morning and it would before you leave the house and then like drinking them at lunchtime or that, when you actually you have to make them and drink them at the same time. They're absolutely delicious though. I think they're really filling and uh, they're, a, they're a great addition to the plan. We also have these cartons as well. Um, for people that do not have time to make up the shakes so don't need the water or whatever these are great for just being on the go they come with a little straw attached to them all you do is open them up poke the straw in and drink now at the moment we only have a chocolate flavor one we used to do them in strawberry and banana as well but they've been discontinued for the moment i don't know if they'll maybe bring out more flavors in the future or if we'll only have the chocolate one but it's still great if you are really in a rush and you need um, something very 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 quick The next thing I'll go on to is smoothies. There's three smoothies. We have a black heart and apple, a cherry and strawberry, 
and a breakfast smoothie with oats, strawberry and banana with oats. And if you just do it in a shaker, the oats will still be there. But if you do it, if you blitz it in like a blender, a Nutribullet or a Blend Active or something, um, the oats will just disintegrate so you won't even have them. It's quite banana -y, this one. I think this one here is more cherry than strawberry. And uh, this one here is more black currant than apple. Um, the cherry one is absolutely delicious. I would say that was my favourite smoothie. It's really, really nice. Again, it says 227 millilitres of water on the back of them. It's entirely personal choice. Um, a lot of people like more water. I would take more. I would probably take about 400 millilitres um, between ice and water in a shake or a smoothie. Uh, it's... It's just trial and error though yourself. You just need to see what you like, see what suits you, what suits your taste buds. The next items we'll do is the porridges. Now there's three porridges. We've got a mixed berry, which is the newest one. We've got an apple and cinnamon. And we have an original porridge. They're all quite sweet. Um, they're all quite sweet porridges. I would say the mixed berry is probably the most popular between my clients. Um, you get a good sized bowl with it and it is really filling, especially um, in the morning. If I mean, I've got some clients that would take this and have it for dinner and things like that. But again, it tells you on the back of them how to make them up. Add 200 millilitres of hot water onto your porridge mix. Stir well, microwave for 30 seconds. Stir, repeat and stand for a minute. So literally you're going to have a delicious bowl of porridge within three minutes. And it is a really good sized bowl you get with this. The next items I'll go on to are the soups. So the soups that we have at the moment, we have a chicken and mushroom soup. Um, I think the chicken and mushroom tastes like a kind of Heinz cream of chicken soup. It's got that kind of taste to it. It's, I, I'm not a huge mushroom fan and I don't taste mushroom in it at all. We've got oriental chilli soup. Um, this is really nice. It's a little bit spicier. It's, 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 it's yummy. I think the vast majority of the products are really nice. Um, vegetable soup with croutons. This is by far my favourite soup. Um, add loads of pepper to it though because I just like things a bit spicier but I should say as well you can add um, pepper to the soups or spices or herbs or anything like that that you like any chilli or that if you want things a bit, a little bit spicier this is great because it's got the little crunchy croutons in it I think it's got a bit of a, a, bit of a bite to it we've got leek and potato soup and we have the goulash flavour soup this is the newest one in um, it is a really, it's quite a thick soup actually, it's really nice, it's a good thick soup, very very filling, really nice, good taste to it. Again with the soups, it's 227 millilitres of water. If I was making a soup, I'd probably stick to around that, you don't want to go too much with the soups, otherwise it kind of thins them out a bit. And the 227 I think is actually, um, it, it's a good amount to go with it. And um, the soups are all nice, they're all filling, it's all good lunch. Now we come on to the meals. So the meals we have are spaghetti bolognese pasta. I should say as well, sorry, all the things are on the back of the meals as well as to how to make them. Um, I won't go into them because they're all actually different. But um, actually, well, I'll tell you, so with the spaghetti bolognese, it's 200 millilitres of hot water with the bolognese mix into a bowl. Stir well. Microwave for 90 seconds, stir, repeat and stand for a minute. So you're talking, you're going to have your bolognese within five minutes. I should say as well, these products, the anything that's got like meat in it, like spaghetti bolognese or there's a chicken tikka curry coming up. It's not actually chicken and um, meat that's in them, it's actually soya protein that they use for them. Um, so they're suitable for vegetarians as well. This one here is lactose free. So a lot of them will tell you the um the the bottle that says like suitable for veggies there at the bottom. That is definitely the most popular meal with my clients. Next we have macaroni and cheese, which is really nice. You're adding 160 to 180 ml of your hot water. So again, this is just going to be take a little bit of trial and error to find what suits you, how thick you like it. 
Start well, microwave for two minutes, start, repeat, stand for one minute. Um, so again, you're going to have that within five minutes. Your chicken tikka style curry is 150 milliliters of hot water. Stir well, stir well and microwave for 90 seconds and then stir well and microwave for two minutes. Um, allow to cool for two minutes. Again, a five minute meal. Green pesto flavour pasta. This is the newest one that's out. Um, it's really, really yummy. I feel like pesto. I love pesto. So it's fast becoming a favourite of mine. So you add 110 milliliters of hot water with the pesto mix. Um, stir well. Microwave for 90 seconds. Stir, repeat and stand for a minute. Thai, curry, Thai style curry with noodles. Um, we've got 80 to 100 milliliters of boiling water with the noodle mix. Stir and leave to stand for three minutes. So this one here, you don't even put in the microwave. You just leave to stand. So this is really good. So see like if you're at work or something and um, you maybe don't have a microwave, but you still kind of want that meal during the day. This is a really good option for that because you don't actually have to have it. All you need to have is the boiling water, which is a kettle, which most places of work would actually have. Or if you didn't even have a kettle, what you could do is boil your kettle in the morning, put it in like a thermos um, and then you've got boiling water all day to make your lunch up whenever you're ready. Next we have the couscous. Now this has actually been discontinued um, soon. I don't know exactly when, but I know it's actually going to be discontinued. So it won't be around for much longer, which is a shame because I actually love it. It's delicious. I think it tastes like a kind of Indian curry sauce type thing, which I, I absolutely adore. Um, so you've had 120 to 150 mils of hot water alongside the couscous mix. Um, leave to stand for three to five minutes. So again, you can do this without the microwave or... It says method two is microwave for two minutes and then stand for one minute. So you can micro that or just leave it. I've done it both ways and it both turns out really it turns out really nice both ways. Then we've got the cottage pie, which is grab your bowl, add 160 milliliters of hot water, stir well, microwave for a minute, then stir well and microwave for 30 seconds. Allowed to cool for two minutes. So all of these meals you can really have within five minutes. So there's no excuse about, oh, well, I don't have time to do that or um, I'm not prepared enough for that. It, it's five minutes. It's boiling a kettle, using a microwave or just boiling a kettle. And it's five minutes you have yourself a meal. Um, and it's healthy, nutritious. They're all suitable for vegetarians. They're all high in protein. They're all what two hundred. They're all roughly two hundred calories. So we get some that are two hundred and one calories, two hundred and two calories. Mac and cheese is two hundred and fourteen. That's the highest. They're all high protein, and they're all really yummy. And they're filling. Like a lot of people think that these meals and things they won't be filling, but I can assure you they really are filling. Next, we're going to the bars. So there's quite a few different bars. So there's one that I don't have in stock just now. It's coming in later today, but I'll tell you about it. But I just I don't have it to show you. So first of all, we have the strawberry and apple bar and the lemon yogurt bar. I'll show you them together because they're kind of similar. They're both covered in yogurt. So they're kind of like a more of a cereal bar than a chocolate bar covered in the yogurt. This one tastes of lemon. This one tastes of strawberry and apple. More of a strawberry than an apple taste, I would say. But both really yummy um, and they're great. You can really have them, you can have the bars anytime you like. Next one we'll go on to is the newest one, which is the Cherry Bakewell bar, which is like, it just tastes like a slab of marzipan covered in, it covered in white chocolate. I think that's what it tastes like. I think it's actually covered in yogurt. It's a yogurt flavour in the sun, it's to say on it. No. Oh, almond and cherry flavour milk protein bar covered in yogurt flavoured coating. Yeah, so it's, but I think it basically tastes like I've become obsessed with these, they're delicious. I think it tastes like a slab of marzipan covered in white chocolate with a kind of cherry taste to it. It absolutely amazing. If you've not tried one yet, get one off your consultant. They're delicious. Next up we have the Cranberry Crunch Bar. This bar has actually been discontinued. So I've got um, a box left, so I'll show you it. But um, it's actually, after that box, I won't be able to get more. Um, it's really nice, it's like a crunchy cranberry taste to it. It's been really popular for me. 
Next up, we have these two bars, which I'll show you together since they're similar. We've got a toffee chewy bar and a chocolate chewy bar. Um, the toffee chewy bar, I think, kind of tastes like a big fudge. It's just like a big fudge covered in chocolate. And this one is just all chocolate, like chocolate chewy throughout um, and covered in milk chocolate. Both extremely nice, um, both absolutely delicious and super popular. And then we have the mint crunch bar, which is like a kind of dark chocolate with um, it's like a crunchy texture to it. And it's mint flavoured, which is really nice. Um, when I done Cambridge years ago, it was actually my favourite. I loved it. I still like it, but I loved it back then. I think I ate far too many of them. And then we have the peanut crispy bar. This is kind of like a, I think it's like a peanut toffee crisp. Um, it's it's delicious. If you love peanuts and you love bars, um, it's lovely. Now the bar I don't have is the chocolate orange fusion bar. I sold out of them just the other day, the chocolate orange fusion bar. And um, I've not got any more back in yet. They're coming this afternoon, but I don't have any here to show you. And so it's like a half chocolate bar in the bottom and then half orange on the top, and then they're covered in milk chocolate. It's delicious, like a kind of Terry's chocolate orange taste to it. If you like that kind of thing, you'll love it. And then we have bites as well. So I've actually only got one, I've got the mint, chocolate mint bites. So these are when you get kind of 10 or 11 in a pack, and they're like that size. Now that little size there. And um, you get 10 and 11 in a pack. And the chalk mint ones are just the same taste as the bar, but only in bite form. Um, so you can see the little, little kind of dark chocolate bites and they taste minty and they're crunchy. You get salty caramel ones as well that I've actually not got in. I ran out of them the other day too. The salty caramel ones are just kind of like caramel covered in chocolate and they're chewy. They're lovely as well. Again, same size pack. You get 10 and 11 in a pack, same size bites. Um, they're both really yummy. These are great. See if you're like out and about and you're meeting a, co a friend for a coffee or well, when you can do that again, obviously. <laughs> but uh, you're meeting somebody and you're out and you don't want to take a bar with you because then you're sitting in a bar. These are great because you can just like have one at a time. And some people, if you're doing step two, they're really good because you can open them and have like half your snack during the day and then have so like you'd have a couple with a cup of tea during the day and then you've still got some for later on without having to like chop up a bar and things they're really good and um, for kind of space them out and they feel like a really treat especially the salted caramel ones like the fact that i've sold out of them shows you how popular they are everyone loves them so that's all the kind of main body of products i've got some other things to show you in that as well but actually the main products, that's the kind of ones that would form part of your three a day or four a day or two a day or whatever you were having each day. They're the products you would have. That's what you would choose from. Um, I stock them all. So there's not really anything that is out there that I don't have in apart from the bar and the bites, which I'm out of stock on today. So um, I'll move on. I've got other things to show you as well. So firstly we have these they're called fava beans now you get original ones but they've been discontinued so i'm not bothering showing you the original ones because they're going to be discontinued eh, and i've only got a couple of packets left and these are far more interesting and yummy so these ones they're kind of like peanuts but beans there's 100 calories in a packet of them i'll show you them close up really nice they're just like a can if you like peanuts and things you'll really like them um they're fava beans there's about 100 calories in a pack of these and you can have a pack of these each day regardless of what step you're on so if you're on step one and you're only having three products a day you can still have a pack of these every day on top of them as a snack if you're on step two and you're having three products plus a meal you can have three products your meal and these if you're on step three, again, you can have these as a snack. Regardless of what step you're on, you can have these as a snack. Um, they don't affect your weight loss. and They're great. See, for people who like something a bit savoury, like a bit of a savoury snack as opposed to a sweet one, these are great. So you get sour cream and chai flavour. I think they taste like the green Pringles. They're, they're really, really nice. Um, uh-huh. They're delicious just like it's like kind of nuts that taste like green pringles 
um, and we've got these ones here, which are chili and lime, which are just the kind of spicy ones. Again, they're they're really like spicy nuts kind of thing. Delicious, and as I say, you can have a package day. I I, I charge like a pound each for these. But I don't know what other consultants charge. Obviously, everyone's self-employed. Secondly, if you're on step two, you get these things called step-up meals. Now, I've got some new ones coming in today. This is an old one that I've got. Um, still in date. It's an old one. They don't stock this one anymore. But I'm just showing you to show you what they look like. As I say, I've got more coming in today. But um, I've got this one here. This is a three bean and lentil casserole. So you can see kind of on the bottom what it's like. It's like I can have pouch. So you just snip the top. And um, make a small tear in each side of the pouch. Blast in the microwave for two minutes. Take the top off. Stir in microwave again for 40 seconds. Stand for one minute. Stir and it's ready to eat. Do not reheat. Uh -huh. So, and there's 206 calories in this. It's high protein, low fat, meat free. They're not all meat free. If The chicken ones do have chicken in them. The beef ones do have beef in them. These actually do have meat in them. They're not soy protein. Um, mm -hmm. they've been really really popular as I say these are like step up meals so if you're doing step 2 and you're having 3 products plus your meal at night this would be instead of just making your own meal so for people that want to do step 2 so they still want to have something to eat but they maybe don't have time to make a meal they don't want to make a meal these are really good as I, say, I charge three fifty for these I don't know what other people charge for them I'm not sure um, but they're they're great as I say, they're, they're yummy, they're everything you need, they're nutritionally balanced and um, they come in, I think it's a beef, there's a beef one now, there's a, there's a few of them, you think you ask your consultant, they change all the time, the ones that they do, they change quite frequently, um, but this is one that I just had, it's an older one, well, it's, it's still in date and stuff, it's fine, but um, it, they don't sell this particular one anymore. So next we have water flavourings. So water flavourings are super important because they really help get your water down and your water is really important when you're doing um, the one to one plan. They want to be drinking at least 2.2 litres of water per day. I say to be able to aim for about two and a half litres per day. Um, if you can get more than that, perfect. If not, it's not the end of the world, but try and kind of work it up. So you get different flavourings. I give all my clients a sample of these when they start in little kind of, I'm going to show you, it's down here. And like these little tubs here. So like these. So I have a big massive thing of them. So, and I just, so I put like some in there and they get a sample of each one. And it just lets you try them. As I say, I charge five pounds each for these. I don't know what other consultants charge. They might charge something different. So, you get a pineapple this is amazing it's it's just like you can add these sorry as well i should say to normal water or you can add them to sparkling water as well to make like a fizzy juice type thing they all count you can have as much of these as you like they all count towards your water intake each day um and they're not going to affect your weight loss in any way so you pineapple orange I think the orange with fizzy water just tastes like Fanta. It's absolutely delicious. Raspberry and elderflower. I'm actually going through a bit of a... I, I still drink these all the time, all day, every day. My whole family drink them, my husband drinks them, my kids drink them. They all love them. Um, I don't actually buy dilute juice or anything like that anymore. Uh, I don't even buy fizzy juice anymore. I buy fizzy water and I buy bottled water for when we drink just water on its own. But um, everyone in my family absolutely loves these now. They keep on going missing out of my office and it turns out that my family just go in and help themselves to them. We've got lemon and lime as well. It's quite citrusy, it's nice. And lastly, we've got one that's a little bit different. This one's called golden vegetable. So the golden vegetable one is more like a cup of soup. So it's one cup of boiling water. So just boil your kettle and then you get a spoonful of this. And then um, like a level teaspoon, not a heat teaspoon. I put a bit of pepper in it as well and then fill it up and it's like a kind of stocky soup. It's good. It's more filling than a glass of water. I quite like it in the winter. Um, if I'm a bit peckish, but maybe it's like an hour off dinner or something. I'll maybe have a cup of that. Um, it just tides you over until um, your next meal. It's not going to fill you up, don't get me wrong, but it'll tide you over until your next meal. As for the, oops, these as well. 
these are great see for like making ice lollies um i bought molds um last year and uh, they're great see for making ice lollies for the kids and things it's got no sugar in them there's no bad stuff in them for you they're calorie free as well um, some people use them to make jelly or make jelly sweets. If you're part of any Facebook pages, you'll probably see that. And I'll show you what you use with that in a minute. But um, they're really versatile. Each tub makes about 30 litres of juice. Um, so they're they're really good. And as I say, all my clients get a little tub of the, tubs of all of them at the start. So they can try them out. So next we have which, so if you're part of any Facebook groups of that, you'll realise that they use the water flavourings to make jelly and kind of Haribo type sweets. And for that, they use this here. It's called Miximus. It's a gelatin powder. Now this is not, this is I think the only product that's not vegetarian friendly. Uh -huh, I think it is. This is the only product that's not vegetarian friendly. Um because it is gelatin powder so if you are a vegetarian obviously you can't have this so the it tells you the, this was actually made not originally for jelly sweets or jelly it was actually made to use with the shakes so what you did was you took a spoonful of Miximus and you took your strawberry or shake or mint shake or whatever shake you were having and you blitzed them together with the water it tells you this is Grab your pot, bowl or jar, add two level teaspoons, five grams to your shake mix. Add at least 150 milliliters of water, whisk or blend for one minute, chill for 10 minutes, yum yum. So it actually gives you instructions for that on the tub and it turns it into kind of angel delight type thing. That's what it was for originally. And then people realized you could make jelly with it and you could make jelly sweets with it and different things like that and it's kind of grew from there but this is a great thing again I charge five pounds for this I don't know what other consultants charge but it'll last you quite a while um and it's great like things like the jelly sweets and the tubs of jelly like I used them when I was on plan and I felt like having because I only had three products so I would have a product for breakfast a product for lunch a product for dinner and then after dinner I've got nothing until I go to bed and sometimes that can be five hours and that's a long time to go without putting anything in your mouth or for me it was anyway so the jelly was a great thing to have um in the fridge that I could go in and just help myself to and if I didn't have it that night then it would last for a couple of days in the fridge so I could have it the next night I didn't have to make it up every single day but it was so easy to make and there's loads of recipes online for it or if you're wanting one just drop the message below and I'll let you know what it is Last but not least, we have Cambridge Fibre. The Cambridge Fibre is for, it's more of a preventative than a cure. Um, you just said add one teaspoon, three grams to your shake, soup or any drink and stir well. You just have a spoonful of that every day and it helps keep you regular. Um, it's not an actual, um, it's not a solution for constipation. Once you're constipated, you kind of need something a bit more than this. But this is like a preventative measure to it. So if you know that you do, you are a person that does get constipated, you'd be best taking this from the start and um, to stop it happening in the first place. So again, I charge the same as the rest, five pounds for that. But I don't know what other people charge for it. Now I've got a few bottles and things like that to show you this is kind of merchandise more than anything there's loads of merchandise out there i don't stock at all um i stock bottles more than anything so i i give a water bottle to new clients usually um so the, there's these ones here each show to go or the one-to-one -one diet so you get the ones or That one holds, I should say, sorry, 650 milliliters. And then you get this one here. This one holds 700 mils. This is a different style one. They're all really nice, actually. So you get that one there. I charge five pounds normally for the two, but um, people get one when they start anyway. And this one here is a hot and cold one, so it's more like a kind of, what are they, is it chilies or something like that, the bottles, is that the ones I'm thinking of, that do them, that, so it's a hot and cold bottle, so it's, it's really nice actually, it's super high quality, 
and this holds 500 mils. This is great, so see, look, for keeping your drinks cool in a hot day or hot on a cold day. So there's loads of things I stock as well. I stock like um, jute bags and you can get lots of things actually, magazines or a... Uh, a lot of people sell things like blenders and chopping boards and all the kind of things. There's loads and loads of merchandise that you can buy from the one-to-one -one diet. Uh, if you're wanting any of it, just speak to your consultant about it. I'm sure they'll be more than happy to order it in for you. Um, all the products, just keep them in a cool, dry place, somewhere out sun, not too hot. Like I, um, they all stay in my office. Um, my office sits at the front of the house and it's... Um, so I don't ever have the heating on in here, um, and so it doesn't it doesn't get warm. I, I do keep it nice and cool in here. If you want to order any products, contact a consultant. Please do not buy any products online. Whatever you do, and um, you don't know where they're coming from. You don't know if the consultant's qualified. You don't know where they've got them from. You don't know what conditions they've been kept in. And um, when you want to buy products, you should find somebody online. And then what you should do is you should speak to them on the phone. They should be taking your, all your details, name, address, date of birth, occupation, height, weight. They should go through a medical questionnaire with you. Um, and then you actually get emailed a copy of that. And if that's not happening, that should be screaming alarm bells to you. Do not buy products off of that person. Um, uh-huh, don't buy products off of that person. If you want to know more about any of the products that I featured today, please feel free to drop a comment below, send me a message. Um, uh -huh. Thank you very much for watching. I know this has actually been a long one. I'm going to try and do more. I've got some more ideas for other videos I'm going to do. I'm going to try and do go back to doing one per week um, just with more information. If there's anything that you'd like to see or like to know or like me to do a video on, please let me know and I'm more than happy to do it for you. Thank you so much.